this is my topic today about the uh, Autodesk Tandem, which is a platform uh, to create digital twin. As we have heard about uh, lots of uh, FM, BIM, and I think this is a good timing uh, to know how to implement or um, streamline the workflow from BIM to FM. So uh, here is the uh, safety uh, safe harbor statement because I will be sharing future development plans with you today and those plans may change over time. Purchasing decisions should not be made based on this presentation. Okay. So what is digital twin? Let's take a look of this video, we can, uh, which is a quick introduction of uh, Autodesk Tandem. When Autodesk Tandem was launched last year, we focused on empowering teams to harness BIM as the foundation for their digital twin development workflows. Tandem enables projects to start digital, stay digital, and deliver digital with capabilities focused on normalizing handover requirements, visualizing data, and automating the development of relationships across assets, spaces, and systems within a facility. We are thrilled to introduce a new set of capabilities allowing Tandem users to incorporate operational data, enabling powerful facility monitoring workflows. Tandem users can now create connections to streaming and event data, quickly understand context by defining relationships with associated assets, spaces, and systems, review charts of time series data sets in order to identify anomalies or patterns over a specified period of time, and visualize the variation of particular measurements by applying heat maps across related spaces. With these additional capabilities and more to come, we will continue to extend the value of Tandem by providing actionable insights in order to improve building performance and deliver operational excellence. Okay, so, uh... Does it look familiar to you, which is quite similar as uh, our ACC or BIM 360, and which is quite uh, easy to use. And, and the big news is uh, it is available now. So you can go to our Tandem website to get a free trial. Uh, a digital train is a digital replica of a built asset that is uh, a dynamic digital reflection of its physical self. Bidirectional connections between the physical and digital enable them to process the operational and behavioral awareness necessary to simulate, predict, and inform decisions based on real-world conditions. More importantly, uh, digital trends provide an opportunity to transform the built asset life cycle. We can affect this transformation by tracking a digital threat of information that links organizations and data with the end-to-end -end digital process, spanning capital planning, architecture, engineering, construction, and asset management. Transformation starts by understanding the owner's desired outcomes, their data requirements, and beginning to track that data thread through the planning, design, and construction life cycle to create a digital replica of the as built. By extending the digital thread into operation, we can create a single pan of glass for, co <clears throat> for correlating relation, uh, operational data and use that rich data for predictive insights. Finally, the knowledge collected by the train can inform the capital planning portion of the life cycle, giving owner additional insights. So, um, according to a research company, Rodantix, uh, they have proposed a maturity model for digital trends. Uh, there are five levels, as you can see. The base level they call a uh, descriptive trend, which is a digital replica of the s facility created from the design and construction data. No, this does not need to be a collection of LOD 500 level reference models. It simply needs to be a collection of models that contain the assets or, or equipments, spaces, and system that the owner needs in order to understand and <clears throat> manage the facility effectively. And uh, the next level is informative trend. 
uh, which add operational and sensor data to the train, making them a single pan of glass. And thirdly is the predictive train, which begins to leverage that operational data for insights. And comprehensive train at simulation for future what-if scenarios. The uh, last one is the autonomous train, which has the ability to learn and add on behalf of user and self-tune the facility. Maybe it was just like uh, what Kelvin has mentioned, the AI era. Yeah. So each level requires a greater degree of beam maturity and digital transformation, uh, but each level also offer a greater value. And for Tandem, Autodesk Tandem right now, we can uh, deliver the descriptive trend. And in our roadmap, we also um, include the development for uh, informative trend and predictive trend. Why is digital transformation so important? A recent FMI report on the engineering and construction industry suggests that as much as, much as 95% of uh, data created in the project life cycle goes unused. While, this, while that statistics is threatening, we are beginning to see a shift in thinking and, in, and an increase in digital training requirements in RFPs, requests for proposals, that provides opportunity for a more collaborative approach on future projects. Um, because a repeatable uh, BIM to FM process has never really materialized. A handover owner and operator receive mountains handover document that leave a big challenge in terms of creating an integrated solutions for monitoring, manage, managing, and tuning the assets. The result is that owner and operators are unable to realize the benefits, the benefit of BIM or smart buildings, and instead end up with silo data and system, inaccurate information, and a lack of transparency, and poor insight into their asset performance. What they need to receive at handover is a descriptive digital train that indexes all that documentation and puts that information they need at their fingertips. Autodesk Tandem was created to support digital transformation and help you move up the digital tree maturity scale, empowering our customers to realize their digital tree vision. With Autodesk Tandem, you can create and execute a repeatable process for creating a descriptive digital tree for digital handover, accelerating operational readiness. In the future, connecting Autodesk Tandem to operational workflow and system, breaks down data silos to give you a single pan of glass for smarter operations. Analyzing the operational data collected by Tandem will empower you with greater insight to inform future decisions. So uh, let's take a look of how Tandem can uh, deliver the descriptive trend Once the data requirements are specified, Autodesk Tandem enables you to capture the required data from the design and engineering intent, from the as built installation and commissioning data, and to verify the components and accuracy of the asset, spaces, and system data. We connect to your CDE, Common Data Environment, to source model data via an integration such as uh, Autodesk Docs and BIM Collaborate. Today, we create the digital trims uh, from Revit and IFC data, but additional formats will be supported in the future. As model data is, is, is ingested into data uh, tandem, a few things will happen. First, um, we only bring in the changes from one version of a source uh, model to the next versions. And the second is we attempt to automatically classify the model data. Third, we map parameter values from the source models into the asset information requirements. And finally, we perform a spatial analysis associating assets to the rooms or spaces they are located within. The analysis is performed across your set of host models. 
Once uh, the model is uh, the model data is classified in tandem. It can be augmented with installation and commis commissioning data that can be done directly in tandem, incorporate through Microsoft Excel. And we are working with the Autodesk build team on an integration with the access modules for capturing this data in this field. Okay. During the digital handover process in Autodesk Tandem, this is a digital train ontology that includes the asset and equipment within the facility, the functional location or spaces within the facility, and the systems and relationships that connect assets and spats. So, digital Handover can help you achieve better outcomes by providing a data-centric platform for collaboration between the owner, the architect, and the contractor. It provides easy access to detailed facility information through a descriptive digital tree that can rapidly accelerate the operational readiness of the facility. And we are building this workflow to solve uh, the BIM to FM gap. Okay, and uh, let's take a look of uh, informative train and digital and predictive train. So we'll create uh, those connections by linking the assets, spaces, and systems in tandem to operational systems and data. We do not intend to replace existing operational system or build our own IoT platform. Instead, we are working on connections to popular maintenance management, building management, IoT, and other systems. For these connections to real-time and operational data, we will deliver a single pane of glass for monitoring and operating facilities. Our goal is to create an informative trend by correlating this siloed data and leveraging it to create actionable insights. Autodesk in established a partnership with iOffice and Space IQ uh, to offer integrated maintenance and space manage management solutions. Uh, for your information, iOffice uh, is a workspace experience and asset management software, and Space IQ, uh, which is the leading uh, workspace management software platform, with uh, three distinct products uh, such as Archibus, SIQ, and Serverview. Moving further into the future, Autodesk Tandem will leverage data from operational connection to en enable predictive trends. By analyzing your desired outcomes against actual maintenance events and facility performance, Autodesk Tandem will be able to report which assets and systems are performing as expected, better than expected, or worse than expected. This information can help predictive events to improve availability and optimize individual facility and portfolio performance. Okay, let's take a look of uh, the roadmap and our Autodesk Tandem website. Ah, I have a quick demo video to show you here. Here's a facility in Autodesk Tandem that was created from multiple source models. You can filter the data to isolate spaces, systems, and assets. First, we'll navigate into the mechanical room. Selecting a pump provides access to the metadata for that piece of equipment, including linked information such as the detailed 3D model and assembly diagram shown. Navigating back out, we can isolate the hydronic system and examine sensor data associated with each component. The charts allow us to examine the time series data and look for any anomalies. As we build out these capabilities, we'll add anomaly detection, alerting, and ticket creation capabilities. So uh, this is the roadmap of uh, Autodesk Tandem. 
The version of Tandem available now, it focused on the digital handover workflows for building a digital twin, uh, just like what I mentioned, the descriptive uh, twin. That includes the ability to structure, gather, manage, and verify facility data. We are constantly improving our train building features and are working to add more support for automating system relationships, allowing for user refinement, creation and refinement of spaces and integration with operational systems. We have begun working on informative train capabilities for facility monitoring. This will include a simplified experience targeted at operational professionals with pre-configured views of data in context and configurable dashboards. Integration with uh, CMMS, BMS, and IoT systems is a key part of this phase on our roadmap. As we move further into our roadmap, we will begin to expose functionality for rolling up data across your portfolio and include analytics to predict future events and suggestions for improving operational efficiency. So, more importantly, more importantly, uh, the value of tandem is the data. Uh, so it's useful to understand how we think about data and assets. When you import model data in a tandem, you're creating context for your digital trend. A subset of that data is classified and tagged as assets. These are the assets, spaces, and systems in the asset information model that are structured and for handover and make up the digital train ontology. As we build our informative train capabilities, a further subset of these tagged assets are connected to either their physical counterparts via sensors or via connections to enterprise systems. In tandem, it all starts by specifying the asset information requirement of the digital train. Uh, the first step is to define your asset breakdown structure, which can either be based on the standard classification system, such as master format, unit format, omniclass, or you can build your own hierarchy uh, classification system based on the owner's needs, possibly specified by an, uh, existing CMMS systems. And second, leverage uh, and extend our data dictionary or parameters to define what data needs to be managed within your digital twin. This includes simple values, document links, and outcomes. Standards like uh, Kobe or Building Smart provide an excellent foundation for your data dictionary. The final step is creating uh, a facility template that specify which parameters apply to which asset types. This may often be prescribed as uh, standards like Kobe. Okay, so uh, for those who are interested to build up your uh, digital tree, please visit this uh, Tandem website, the intandem.autodesk.com. For now, you can uh, get the free trial. Free trial. Uh, I, I remember uh, the free trial is up to 100 of Tether assets. And a lot of uh, materials such as uh, tutorials and guidelines are over there. And if you want to have uh, a more in-depth demo, demo, you can contact me. Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's all for my presentation today. Thank you very much.